to the air. Golf on second down. That was a classic example of trying to run with the ball without securing the catch. He was thinking about those rack yards instead of making the catch first and then taking off. Back to throw. Golf. And this is going to be caught. No, they say it's incomplete. A third down, he tried to stay in bounds, did all he could. He caught it, but was led a little bit too far. Yeah, and that's always difficult, isn't it? Because you know half of your body is trying to stay behind while the other half is reaching out, trying to catch the football. The top half worked. It was the bottom half that was in question. And a bit of a mistake there. This is well into the end zone for a touchback. And now out comes Houston. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball. Just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. Now Osweiler. Complete to Mumphrey. And now to the races, down the right side. A big play there just before halftime. And even 70 yards. Now that's an impressive throw right there. And I think being 6'7", throwing that slant route helps because you can see over the defense and find the open windows. That height has always helped him. Gonzaga actually offered him a basketball scholarship after his freshman year in high school. And how about that? You know he's from Montana. And the reason he ended up at Arizona State Direct flights from his hometown into Phoenix allowed his parents to come see him play. That's why he ultimately chose ASU when he decided to play football. Hurry up, here we go. Green 39. Green now whistles 39. come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. So as they take it over, we step aside. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. And this is no good. Close, but he misses just left of the upright. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. And the Rams getting set to go now. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this is a do really, I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. And he's going to be taken down. Goff is sacked. Jadavian Clowney. He's the one that got to him. He takes him down for a loss of nine. On second down, here's Goff. His throw incomplete. So a second down incompletion now brings up third down. All right, here we go. Boom, nine. Third and long, it's Goff. Got his man over the middle. This is quick. They do get nine, but it leads to fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. Pulled in at the 24. It'll be a 51-yard punt that time. And that will come the offense as they take over. 
Here's the Texans offense now, readying for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Now how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some <laughs> gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. They isolate Hopkins on the left side. Now a play fake here on first down. And on the left side, Fedorowicz has it. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. Now a toss right to Miller. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. And third quarter here, you've got the lead. This is where that strong run game can really benefit. You stayed in bounds there, kept the clock going. I like all the points you just made there. And if you throw the football and it's incomplete, now you've stopped the clock and you've helped out the guys on the other side of the ball. So keep it in the hands of those runners. Keep moving it. Keep grinding clock. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. Again, it's Miller. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. And there's a nice stop for the defense. They've had a tough time containing this guy all game long, but maybe they can build a little bit off of that play, a little bit of confidence, a little bit of momentum. Yeah, every now and then you can actually tackle that guy. On second down, here's Osweiler. And the Rams got him. They bring him down. William Hayes in there to get him for his second sack of the night. Partner, I know the ball security is preached like crazy, but every now and then you've got to know when to get rid of the football and save a little bit of yardage if you're a quarterback. Because now if you're the offensive coordinator, what does it do for, if it was third and 10 versus third and much longer as it is now? Yeah, it changes everything in terms of play calling and the pressure you might expect to face on the very next down. Had to throw the ball away and save the yardage. He didn't get it done. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players. Somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You're getting better athleticism. Great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Here we go now. A first down carry now for Miller. And they go backwards here. Losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Second down, Osweiler. And he almost had it defensively. Could have been a game changer there in this second half. Instead, it's third down. Tremendous coverage there. Just did not catch the football and complete the interception. But what do they say all the time? If he had really good hands, he'd be playing offense. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Set. Green, 39. Green. Now it's Osweiler. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Third down is the down. Both sides know they absolutely have to win. And the name of the game for the defense is pressure on the quarterback. But pressure on the quarterback with contact, that's how you end up winning it. Deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Out of bounds as he appeared to be looking for the corner. He got it. They're going to mark this at the four-yard line. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And not great starting field position here for the offense. So they come out here in the eye. 
from his goal line here. Goff. Caught here left side by Brett. And they're going to have this one up near the 30-yard line. And when an offense...